Oh, Utah. Here's another fun one. So yesterday, 926-24, we reported that there was a Venezuelan gang involved in a shooting in Harriman, Utah. Local news and local police wanted you to think that it was just a group downplaying the severity of this gang going across the United States of America. This happened in Harriman, Utah, which is a very conservative town just southwest of Salt Lake City. But now we're finding out just a few days ago that just north of Salt Lake City, in a very conservative town called Kaysville, this happened. J. Luke Taylor said this, It's not often I get into politics, but sometimes things hit close to home that force you to think more carefully about the things that matter most. Last week, while I was out of town for work, I received a call from my daughter at 7 a.m. When I answered, she said, Dad, I think I'm going to die, in a tone that sent shivers down my spine. I immediately knew something was very wrong. After trying to understand what was happening for what seemed like an eternity, my son finally ran my daughter's gab watch downstairs where I heard my wife weeping to a 911 dispatcher on the phone. On Wednesday the 18th, while my two older kids were in my kitchen getting ready for school, my daughter noticed a man in a black hood carrying a baseball bat over his shoulder attempting to break into my house through the back door. He was wearing one black latex glove on his left hand and was making his way around the house to the other doors. The kids immediately ran upstairs to tell Aaron, who was with a sleeping Benny in our bed, that someone was trying to get into the house, and without hesitation she locked the kids in the most secure room in the house, grabbed the gun, and called 911 and ran downstairs. This man was high as a kite, out of his mind, and my wife witnessed him get into the outside detached garage as she had police on the phone. Response was excellent, and handling the situation was great. The police arrived just as he was sneaking back out of the garage and told him to put his hands in the air. He was cooperative. They finally arrested him at gunpoint after I had to listen over the phone. Never felt more helpless in my life, and my wife sobbed in fear of her life and our kiddos' lives. It turned out the man was here illegally, with no documentation. He had weapons in his pockets and bags filled with alcohol. Almost a week has gone by and I'm still getting woken up several times at night to a jolting, on-edged wife who is experiencing night terrors, whose brain hasn't been able to shut down since the event. There's about a million things I could say about what happened and the aftermath of what my wife and kids are experiencing. But if this can happen in Kaysville, Utah in broad daylight on a weekday, it can happen anywhere. I will say this over and over and over until federal, state, and local law enforcement, until national and local media and politicians from both sides of the aisle call this for exactly what it is, an invasion, the United States of America is done. We need to build a wall immediately and we need to have a mass deportation of millions and millions of undocumented illegal aliens or we're done.